Okay, hello again, YouTube friends. This is Shay, Shay and Bob. Now, this is my, supposed to be my craft video for Wednesday that I do every Wednesday. Well, I do one on Wednesdays and Thursdays. But like I said, I don't have a craft right now that I can show y'all that I have finished. Now, the way I am, some of you show things that you're working on and that you, you know, the progress of it, but you're not finished of it. I'm funny, I guess. I don't want to do that. I don't like to do that. I want to get mine completely finished before I show it to y'all. I don't know why. But anyway, <clears throat> so I have been working on some things, I, uh, several things. I'm just not completely finished with any of them. Now, one of them I am, but I can't show that one. That's the, uh, the lunch bag craft kit that craft kit swap that I have hosted and that we're doing. I have worked on that. I have decorated my bag and I have filled it up with the uh, craft kit makings. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my throat today. So I've got that done and it's already in the box and sealed up. I just need to get it mailed off to my partner which is D. Cobb on YouTube. And uh, so, I've worked on that, and I have finished that, but I was not supposed to show that one to y'all. Now, when Dee gets it, she is supposed to, if she will think and remember, to open it up on camera and show it to everybody as she's opening it and looking at it. <coughs> Man, I need a cough drop or something, Lord. Uh... You know, and as she's pulling the makings out for her craft kit, looking at it and talking about it and trying to decide what it is. Okay. And this is, I didn't say this in the swap, but if the people that have joined the swap, if y'all want to do this too, you're more than welcome to. Um, if you want to do a tutorial, you know, if you like to do craft tutorials on how you make something, do a tutorial or just like video yourself making your craft and putting it together, that craft kit, you're more than welcome to. Go right ahead and do it. I'm not. Because I know that I'm not going to know what it is and I'm probably going to have a hard time trying to figure out what it is. may not never figure out what it is and I'll have to come up with something on my own. Uh, so I'm not going to do that in front of everybody. <laughs> <coughs> So anyway, but uh, y'all could do that. But at least open it up on camera and uh, put that up. And everybody send me, and here I go yawning. Oh, all these interruptions, I promise. PM me your video. Then after you get it made, if you didn't do the tutorial of making it, then do a video showing it and what you made. And send that one to me. And then that swap will be over with. So I've worked on that and I got it done. I just got to get it sent to her. <coughs> okay. Something else I have been working on. Uh, Y'all remember my laptop. My, my laptop. My lap book that I made me. That I'm keeping all my papers and stuff in. Okay. The original lap book is uh, for school kids that teachers keep their work organized in. Not in the way that I have this one. This one I've made it basically like a file folder of a bunch of different folders to keep my papers filed in. That's okay too to use it that way. But theirs, when they open it up, instead of all the different, let me see if I can explain it. And some of you may know what a lap book is. Instead of all the different, yeah, it has pockets and such, but mine is like I've got folders, folder pockets to keep papers and stuff in. But um, for the kids, and they don't use these fancy ones, they use the plain and the colored plain ones. And what they do is they stick pockets and flaps and, and papers writing about their they're different little lessons and stuff that they do kind of all in here. Okay? 
<coughs> so that's what they do. <coughs> Man. But anyway, I have been working on another lap book for my Tookie Bear. Now all of y'all know who my Tookie Bear is. It's my little special baby that I keep, you know, my the three kids that I keep. And Tookie Bear is the slow one, you know. He was slow learning to walk and he's still he's two years old, probably two and a half by now. I think his birthday's in June or July, something like that. And uh he still is not talking very good, although he is starting to learn a few more and say a few more. So that's good. But he has to go to speech every week and he has to go well, a lady comes to his house and sees him and works with him once a week, too. <clears throat> so, his lap book, I'm making him a lap book. And it's going to be one sort of like the students, you know, with the stuff all in it. But it's going to be, you know, like those baby books that you get for babies and toddlers. It's like an interactive book. And they have different things they can do. Like, they'll have different things to feel that will feel different. And they'll have different flaps to open and look at different pictures in there and all this kind of stuff like that. Mine is going to be something similar to that. And I am working on that for him. So when I get that finished, I'll show that to y'all. Okay, I am also working on another um, lap book. This one's going to be for my aunt. She loves to, she has always loved to make up and write stories. Okay? She could have, if she would have pursued it and went on to, she could have been an author and wrote books. But she did not carry on with it. Her teacher, her English teacher even told her, or literature, whatever one it was, even told her in school, because she worked at it in school, even told her that she, you know, could be go on to be a good Arthur book Arthur. But silly her didn't do it. Anyway, I have took a little bit of that. I do not have it like she does, by no means. Mm -mm. But I have took a little bit of it from her, and I enjoy making up stories. Now, I, and she loves the writing part. Oh dear God, she loves the writing part. And something that I, I know that when you write books and such, that you have to have, um, what is it called? Is it the detail? Yeah, you have to have detail. You know, like explaining, explaining, describing what things look like in your story. But honey, I think she has too much detail in hers. I think that's what she harps on the most. Which, and I think she does it because her teacher told her that she was good at that, the detail, and that that's what you've got to have. It's good to have a lot of good detail explaining your stuff in your story. And so I think she took that to heart too much. And I think instead of focusing on the storyline, you know, and, and hurrying up and trying to get through the story, I think she literally, literally goes way too far in detailing, describing what things look like, whether it's a room or a dress or a house or a piece of furniture in the story. She's just like, oh my God. <laughs> but anyway, so, but she does that. So, like I was saying, I took a little bit of it from her and I can make up little stories and things too, but I don't like the detail. Like I said, she loves the writing part. I don't like the writing part. I just like sitting and thinking and making the stories up, and then I can tell you the story. But to write it down, <laughs> don't like it. Now, I might not mind typing it, but I bet you I'd get tired of that, too. I mean, to me, I would rather do like this, record it on video, telling it to you, or a cassette tape or something, you know. To me, that happens faster. And as I'm thinking of it, too, I can think faster and play it all out in my mind and be done with it. And at the time, I can't write, and I can't write it down as fast as I'm thinking about it. So later, if I do have time to sit down and write it down, then I'm not going to be able to remember and get it exactly the way I thought of it. And that first time was the best, you know? So 
if when I first think of something, if I could do like this and record it on a video or on a cassette, talking it out, that would be great, you know, but I can't always do that. So, <clears throat> Benny, I need you to do something. I'm recording another video, so I'm just going to point. Uh, what was I saying? Um, the stories. So, I've got a little bit of it from her. I can make up little video, uh, little stories, but nothing like she can. So, her laptop that I'm making her, oh, and me and her both love mystery stories. That's where I get mine from. She loves mystery stories, too. Her laptop, oh, I keep saying laptop, oh, lap book that I'm making her, I'm going to make up about five little stories, and I mean little bitty mini stories, and I'm going to write them out and put them in different places in her lap book. Her lap book is going to be set up kind of like the student's lap book too. Not with all the, it'll have some pockets and things, but mostly like that. And I'm going to put these stories in it for her to read. But also, it's going to be a little bit interactive for her. Each story that I do, I am going to choose three different ways that it could go. I'm going to tell the story a little bit part way, and then she's going to have a choice to make. Three different things. It could go this way or this way or this way, and she has to choose which one she wants. So if she chooses one, she'll read that part, and then it'll go on with the story and finish it. Of course, she can go back and do it this way too and this way to read all of them, and it would be different ways to go. But um, that's what I'm going to do with her stories, and I feel like she would love that and enjoy that. So I'm working on that for her. All right, what else am I working on? Let me look around here at my stuff. Um, let's see. Do y'all remember my, uh, and I don't even know why I'm showing y'all this. Do y'all remember the letter that I told you the way my style of letter writing, that pink folded thing? It's in here. I've got it filled up, ready to mail off. I have got this. Who knows what this is? Does this look familiar? <laughs> this is filled up. Listen. And ready to go. I just got to get a box small enough that it will fit in and big enough that it will fit it. Because I ran out of the boxes. I used the boxes we was using for it. If anybody don't know, the Becca JB here on YouTube is my sister. And I had found this box at a thrift store and bought it. It's really pretty and all. I didn't decorate it. I left it the way it was. And I filled it up with some little cracking goodies. And I sent it to my sister. The Becca JB, she's my sister if I didn't say that. I don't remember if I said it or not. Anyway, I didn't tell her I was doing that. And it surprised her. She just got it in the mail. But I had a little letter in there, and I explained to her that I just did this and that so why don't we share the box and each of us take turns, like, you know, now it was her turn to fill it up with goodies, keep the goodies I sent her, fill it up with other goodies, send it back to me. When I get it, I'll fill it up again, send it back to you, and blah, blah, blah. And I bet you she thought I forgot about it and wasn't going to finish it and continue on with it. Didn't you? <laughs> uh-huh. But no. I've got it full. It just takes time to accumulate things that you want to put in there. And then it takes time uh, finding boxes to pack it in. And then it takes time to get the money to mail it off. You know. So, that's what I'm waiting on to find a box and also to get the money to mail it off. But it's ready to go. Okay. So, I've done that. Alright, let's see here. Let me look. What else here? What else here? What else here? Um, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna go over here and look and see what I can find that I have maybe forgot about that I'm working on. I don't even know if y'all can hear me talking or not. Um, I am working on a craft not a craft a Christmas gift it's not like a craft but it is a Christmas gift 
Uh, it's for my aunt. She likes to do crafting stuff too, like I do, and she's recently moved and had to leave all of her stuff behind. So she don't have much stuff. So uh, for Christmas and the lap book, the story lap book I was just telling you about, it's the same aunt. That's going to be part of it. It's going to go in the box, but I'm fixing her up a big box of craft stuff. And the lap book will go in that, and that's going to be her Christmas present. So I've been working on that. So the lap book, yeah, is the crafty part, but the rest of it is just crafting supplies I've been getting, collecting, and putting in the box, wrapping each one up, and putting in the box, and stuff like that. And so I've been working on that. See, so yeah, I've been working on a lot, but I haven't got no one craft thing finished, you know? So, um,. The next thing, once I finish Tookie's lap book and my aunt's lap book, um, the next thing, oh, another thing I'm going to do, I don't know if any of y'all remember, y'all can go back to my first, uh, oh, I'm getting tongue-tied here, my first videos that I started putting up on YouTube, and I have a few of them where I've done bottle swaps with my sisters and my mom and stuff like that and I showed them open them up and get it what it is you take a two liter bottle drink bottle it don't matter what kind of drink coke sprite seven up root beer dr pepper whatever mr pib just a bottle okay and of course you clean it out and dry it out and all this kind of stuff but then <coughs> you will cut the side of it out. You don't cut the hole completely out. You leave a flap. But you do it big enough that you can put things in there. Okay? You leave the top on it. You put crafting goodies in there. Okay? Then you tape that flap closed. Then you decorate that bottle. You can glue like a uh, scrapbook paper uh, around it. You can decorate it up all kind of other different ways with the different things. Tie a ribbon around the top and blah, 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 blah. Uh, <coughs> then you put it you put a, another piece of paper the address label part of it on top of the decorated part and put the addresses on it your address and who you're sending it to you don't have to put that bottle in a box and pack it up to mail it off you can mail it off like that just send the bottle just like that because we've done it and I think that's neat it's a, a neat different unique type of package you know exciting so I, that's another thing I'm working on. And I didn't really mean for it to be a Christmas gift because I started it, you know, way back. Not too far back. But I'm working on that. But it looks like that it may end up being a Christmas gift because it keeps getting closer and closer to Christmas. But I'm working on that to send to somebody. And what it is, it's one of the, blo the bloggers that I watch. She don't watch me. So I'm not worried about her hearing what I'm saying. She does, she is not subscribed to me and don't watch me. But I watch her. And she's a blogger. She don't do crafting. Well, she does crafting, but it's not our style crafting. She crafts and makes um, costumes of game characters. The computer game characters and the DS and the PlayStation game characters, and it's all these, it's not like the type of games that I would play. It's all these, like, let me see if I can think of the name of one. Oh, come on, Jerry. See, I'm not even going to be able to, it's the, the ones that I call the bad ones. You know, the killing, the blood, the, all that kind of stuff, and the weird characters in them. And she crafts and makes their costumes and she wears them and then she goes to a convention that, that that's for that type of thing you know but she vlogs and I love watching her vlogs and she does one every day and I watch every, watch it every day and on her <coughs> on her vlog it is not her home address so she don't give her home address out but um it, it, she has a post office box. That way people won't know exactly where she lives. And she has it wrote in her about me part, I think, of her channel, her YouTube channel, her post office box, and she tells people, send me mail. 
send me letters, send me cards. And she gets packages all the time from her subscribers that watch her. And it's not just letters and cards. They send her all kinds of things, you know. And so, uh, <clears throat> in watching her thing, you know what types of candy she likes. You know what types of snacks she likes. You know what her favorite color is. You know other things that she likes. Because you find out all this stuff by watching her vlogs. So, I am go I'm making her a bottle. And I'm going to fill it up with some things that she likes and write her a little letter telling her that I love to watch her vlogs every day. I'm even going to try to make her a craft. Uh, try to figure out something that I think she would like. She's not a crafter, but I am. It's what I do. It's what I like to do. So I'm going to try to make her something too small enough, of course, that will fit in the bottle and everything. And uh, I'm going to send that to her. And uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't mean for it to be a Christmas gift because I started it back uh, in uh, November. Probably, uh, what's the one before that, October? Probably started it back then, but it's taken so long that it's ending up. It's getting closer to Christmas. So I may, I may just end up letting it be a Christmas present. Unless it takes even longer and goes into January before I can actually get it finished and sent to her, which that's probably what will happen. <laughs> so anyway, I'm working on that too, you know. So, and this video has ended up dragging out being longer than what I thought it was going to be. And uh, so anyway, I'm trying to think, did it, was there anything else I wanted to mention? Oh, I was going to tell you this. The way she has that post office box and lets her subscribers sense her stuff, I think that is so neat and so fun. So I think when we get moved, I guess I've told you all about moving, haven't I? I think I have, yeah. When we get moved, wherever we're going to live, and get us a house and get settled in it and all this kind of stuff, I'm going to open me up a post office box just for that reason. For my YouTube, for y'all, for my YouTube subscribers. So if y'all want to surprise me and send me packages, Go right ahead. I will love it. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> hint, 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 hint. Okay, so anyway, I think that's fun. You know, everybody loves to get surprise packages in the mail, don't they? It's fun. Okay. But, I mean, she gets these, like, she, and they'll be blogging. And they'll go to the, because, see, they blog all over. They blog when they go to town. They blog when they go to the stores. And they'll be going to a store, or they'll go to the post office in one of those blogs. And they'll check their mail. And you'll see them. They'll be at the counter and the lady will be bringing out two or three, four, five big old huge boxes that she's got in the mail that one day she went to the post office. Of course, I don't know how many days she waits before she goes back to the post office, you know. But then they'll load it up in the car and go home and then she'll do a video, a box, you know, opening up. Or if the box is too big and it drags out, she'll have to do two videos of it opening that box. And uh, they call it the unboxing, and uh, shows what she got and from who. And, and it's fun. I love watching those vlogs of hers too, where she opens her boxes. Oh, it's so fun. Anyway, okay, I guess that's all. I'm looking around trying to think. Have I told and mentioned everything that I wanted to tell? This is Wednesday. So tomorrow, I'm going to be working on Tookie's book again today. And get it finished. No, not finished. I'm sorry. I won't be getting it finished because there's still a lot more. But it's the part of it that I'm working on right now. I will get that little part finished. But trust me, I won't get the book finished today. There's too much of it still left to do. But I can't wait till I do get it finished. Show it to y'all. And then I can't wait to give it to Tookie Bear. And I'm going to show it to the lady, Miss Tony, that comes once a week and works with him. I've told her about it, and, and I can't wait to show it to her and see what she thinks. Either. She thinks it's going to be a great idea. <clears throat> so anyways, I'll be working on that today as far as some more crafting. And I think, is it that book? What else was I going to work on today? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I think that's all I'm going to be working on. Um, I have another thing here that once I get through, I'm going to tell y'all about that too. When I get through with Cookie's lap book and my aunt's lap book, 
the next thing for me to actually work on, well, I'll be working on actually getting more of the gifts ready for my aunt's Christmas gift and then for the bottle for that vlogger. And, uh, um, by the way, and I'm sure she wouldn't mind any more new, uh, subscribers, um, I'm going to give her a shout out and, um, recommend that y'all go check her out. If any of you crafters, y'all may not. I'm probably maybe the only one that loves to watch the bloggers too. I watch the Shaytards. Do y'all know who the Shaytards are? They're famous bloggers. Anyway, this girl, her name is Kate. Well, really it's Catherine, but she goes by Kate. She's a young girl, like in her twenties. She's around the age of my oldest daughter. And uh. <clears throat> Her, she goes by Kate, but her YouTube name is Caters17. Now, she has several different uh, channels, YouTube channels, and I am subscribed to all of them. She has a gamer one where she plays her games on it and videos that while she's playing her games. I am subscribed to all of that, but I do not really watch. A lot of times I skip through those or just pass it on by and don't even watch it at all if I'm not interested or in the mood at that time. The one I like the most is her main vlogging one, which is Caters17. And that is one word, all spelled out. K-A-T-E-R-S-O-N-E-S-E-B-E-N. Caters17. So, go check her out, you know, just to see if you would like her. And if you do like vlogging, who knows, maybe you'll like her, maybe you'll want to subscribe to her and watch her every day. So, there you go. Uh, um, let's see. What else? See, I jumped the gun. I was talking about something else. Okay. Do y'all remember my list of projects, the many, many things that I have and what we're doing and stuff, and I have one named my old past projects? <laughs> I am still working on them, not through them yet either. But I have the next one of those laid out over here on my tray behind me, ready to start working on whenever I finish Cookie's book and my aunt's lab book. Then I'll start working on it. It's actually a tote bag. It's a blue jean tote bag that was plain. You know, you get those type of tote bags like at Michael's and stuff, and then you can decorate them. That's what I got, and I started decorating it. So I've got some of the decorations, and this was like years way back. Uh before I ever even learned about YouTube, you know, I had got this bag and I decided I wanted to decorate it a certain way, and that's what I'm doing, and I hadn't worked on it in a while, but I got it laid out over here to be the next thing I start working on whenever I finish Tookie's flat book and my aunt's flat book, and then um, when I get it finished, I will show y'all it. So, okay, I better end this video. It's probably way too long. I hope it's not an hour long. Undoubtedly. Do y'all think it's an hour long? Undoubtedly not. And i got to go check on my fire before and see if I can get it going again. Alright. Leave comments below. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo until next time.